This is Las Vegas Real Estate Now, where we bring you the three E's, educate, empower, and engage. I'm your host, Harvey Blankfeld, and we've been selling homes here in Southern Nevada since 1988. I also have Jeffrey Edwards from Piercy Bowler, Taylor & Kern. Jeff's uh, been uh, raised here in Las Vegas, a partner with Piercy Bowler, Taylor & Kern, and he's been with them for 17 years. Welcome back, Jeff. Thank you. I'm glad to have you back because uh, one of the things I wanted to talk about today, and I know that you had brought this up before, is the commerce tax. Um, this is something like, you know, here I am, I'm a, you know, I have business here in town and this is a commerce tax. I, I'm nowhere near the level of having, but I got a file. That's exactly true. The, the, the commerce tax, we're into our second year of this commerce tax. Right. Uh, the, uh, the tax form is due August 15th and it's, and it's calculated on a fiscal year, July 1 through June 30, w- which most businesses don't prepare their books on right. a fiscal year. We're all on a calendar year. So right. it, it forces us to, to close our books on that on that fiscal year, it gives us extra work. Uh, I'm not a real fan of it, and it's based on our revenue. Right. We could a, 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 a taxpayer or a business could theoretically owe the tax and still have a net loss on their books. Right. You, we don't get to figure any kind of expenses into that commerce tax. It's solely based on your gross revenue. What's the number? What's the what's the what's the number you have to cross? To, you have to cross four million. Four million in in, in income. In income in revenue. In gross revenue. revenue. Re- gross, gross revenue. Okay. And you think about all our construction companies in town, and yeah. and and they hit that really quickly. Really quickly. Of course, and their margins may be very tight. This tax could eat up any and all profit. Exactly. Yeah. It's kind of a rotten tax. What's the, what what kind of level of percentage? Are we talking there as actual applicable tax? Is it a it depends on the business? Tax, right? It depends on the business. It's a, it's on your NA, NAICS code, and then it's a and then it's a percentage of of your revenue based on your NA, NAICS code. Hmm. Yeah. What happens if you don't file it, Jeff? Is you get there... dirty letters, and you can be fined. Okay. Uh, they gave us uh, last year. They 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 gave everybody an oops, but I I think they're they're not going to be as lenient this year gotcha. as they were last year. Um, the other thing I want to talk to you about today, Jeff, was these. Um, uh, 1031 property exchanges. It, it can only be, it be involved with investment property. It, you can't use your personal residence right. in a 1031 exchange. When the values of these of this real estate was going up and people, it was a seller's market, they were looking to sell it and they'd have a huge capital gain right. of which would be taxed. And so they, they entered into what's called a section 1031 exchange where they exchange that property and defer the gain on the sale of their original property. I had one client that had a warehouse, and it, the warehouse that uh, escalated in value, and and their potential gain on it was about a half a million dollars. Wow! And so they they sold the 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 um, the, the the warehouse, and they exchanged it into four different properties. Right. Two of which were were um, residential rentals. Mm-hmm. One was another warehouse, and one was just a piece of land. Right. And, and so and, and and they define that as. It has to be like kind, like prop, kind, like right. kind. But a warehouse and land is like kind wow. in these in these scenarios, and so they were able to defer that five hundred thousand dollar gain until they they sold these other four properties. There's some strict rules that go along with it. You, you yes. need to use an accommodator. Right. Uh, you, you can't sit across the table, sign your sign your papers for selling, and then put the money in your pocket and then go out and buy a property. Yeah, right. You're not allowed to touch the money you yourself. You can't touch the money. <laughs> right. The accommodator, right. you go through the accommodator, and they help you identify the properties that you're going to replace. The accommodator takes the money, and then they, they, make, they purchase the properties. Got it. You've been listening to Las Vegas Real Estate Now with host Harvey Blankfeld. Please tune in every Saturday at 11 a.m. right here on News Talk 720 KDWN.